Here's a really interesting source on this verse here in Genesis 6.15, which we've covered before. This is how you shall make it, the ark. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, its width 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. Now I found today a very interesting source that I had not come up uh, across before in regards to the building of the ark. So according to the Sioni, the instruction to Noah to build an ark meant that he was to employ combinations of the letters in God's name to do so and to build what he could or what would become the equivalent of a holy temple. So this is very interesting. He's equating uh, the ark to a type of holy temple. And the way Noah was to do this was to employ different combinations of the letters of the name of God. And he also quotes the verse from Proverbs uh, that the Zohar discussed. He demonstrates that the letters in God's ineffable name were manipulated in a manner which enabled Noah to build the ark according to the measurements reported in the Torah. So this is very interesting. I've never come across this before. Um, and for those of you who aren't aware, this is the name that they're talking about, this uh, familiar name with a yud, a hey, and a vav, and another hey. And this is where we get the name Hashem, because Hashem literally means the name. And it has the value 26. And incidentally, you can find this name 6,006 times in the entire Hebrew Bible. So it's interesting that he was using this name and different combinations to build the ark which again is a type of holy temple.